as I get older and wiser and crazier, I get less tolerant of mm, BS. I don't even know why I be telling people stuff anymore. Good news, they don't even be believing me anymore. And that's why I need a manure proof leather. This is a red wing manure proof charcoal rough and tough leather from SB Tanning. Manure proof. Make of that what you will. Hello and um, welcome to another exciting episode of David Romero Art Gallery. My name is David Romero. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at David Romero Art Gallery. And today I am going to be reviewing the Red Wing se several several year <laughs> review on the Weekender Red Wing 3301. Thank you all of you who be supporting my videos and um, a little bit of background myself. Um, uh, right now I am a full-time artist but I had 20 years as a horticulturist and worked with um, some shoes. Um, the Red Wing Weekender, Heritage Weekender, um, to me um, I was curious about the Red Wing Postman. Postman. There is a shoe called the Red Wing Postman, which is used by the U.S. Postal Service, and it's the official shoe of the U.S. Postal Service. And I understand um, that a lot of postal workers do not use it. <laughs> they do not use that shoe. They elect to use a sneaker type of shoe. And I don't know if it's kind of, they believe it's just frumpy looking or not exactly familiarated with the quality of Red Wing shoes. Um, and I can understand not kind of trying to look, um, trying to look, I can understand wanting to not, Wanting to not look uncool, like the Red Wing Postman might look a little uncool. Although, I do see people in um, the um, service business wearing the craziest things, you know. Um, sneakers and stuff like that that don't last a very long time. I think this is like a relative to the Postman. Red Wing Postman. There are a couple of videos on YouTube. I will try to put the links on that to attach to the Red Wing Postman. I think this is kind of a cousin. This is kind of like a weekender. Um, I'm not crazy sold on the wedge sole, especially the white wedge sole. And that's why I like this kind of brown color here. I think the wedge sole, the white wedge sole looks kind of... <laughs> <coughs> it looks kind of wimpy to me personal preference anyway but um i do like this wedge sole and that's why i happen to have several of this series um a 30 this is a 3302 this is a oh yeah this is also a 3302 that i just dyed but anyway uh and it seems to me that nobody be talking about this amazing shoe, which kind of baffles me. In fact, there is a YouTube video where they are actually manufacturing the at the Red Wing factory. Um, there are Red Wing fanatics out there, and um, but they're <laughs> I'm going off. Um, there was an actual video of them creating this shoe. I wonder if this is, it's this exact shoe. Anyway, uh, so the world is changing right now. And 
work is one of those things that is changing and you can say this is I mean Red Wing makes is known for making work shoes and I would wear these for my paint parties um, paint and sip wine and canvas um, if you don't know what that is um, <clears throat> people get together meet up and paint and I give light instruction and I get out of the way of you having a good time you can also find <laughs> you can book me if you in the East LA area for your next paint party but anyway it's it's strong enough for a work shoe um, and I see um, a lot of people wearing well they be wearing Doc Martens which I relate I, I relate in a previous video that I made on oh on my 3321 the comparisons to Doc Martin why because of the comparison of the heritage of this shoe um, of the beginnings that Doc Martin was created as a work shoe yada yada whatever um, and I apologize the end of that video got scrambled up I don't have a whole lot of control over you know my editor anyway um, my editor being myself and I compare these to the Doc Martin because I see a lot of kids and I get it it's a style thing wearing Doc Martens in service positions but when I ask about if they know anything about the history of Doc Martens they don't know anything about it and it was just, it's blows my mind because it has so much heritage to it um, the 3301 was a shoe was originally manufactured for American carpenters that needed a shoe to be robust but not heavy so as not to leave scuffs. Copper rough and tough leather, tanned leather upper, contrast stitching, leather insole, Goodyear welt, Atlas tread sole, made in the USA. Red Wing Shoes, American footwear brand Red Wing Shoes was founded in 1906 in Minnesota, U.S. Sturdy, practical, and well-designed Red Wing boots and shoes started life as the shoe of choice for America's workmen before becoming a popular choice for modern-day style-conscious shoppers. Classic designs remain but the Red Wing shoe range has been updated and expanded with new colors, finishes, and details for the contemporary customer. When I was reviewing this one, the 3326. Very um, official about <laughs> Red Wing shoes, how, you know, they have all this information here and on the box, you know, when you, when you see the box, to me, it's just, there's something very, when you see that number, I don't know, there's something about it to me. There's a lot of uh, Red Wing fanatics and uh, real fans of Red Wings. Um, and, you know, there's something very official about the tag how I don't know there's something about you know this company that has so much heritage that it's different it's unique you know learn about Red Wing there's a lot of information out there um actually my boy JC Cook does a um a review on the postman um pretty pretty in-depth you know, my videos are not really too in-depth. <laughs> Some of these, the Red Wing fans, um, which I don't, I don't have a whole lot of Red Wings, but I do have this particular series, the Weekender 33 series, because 
size for me is nailed down. Like I say, um, it just fits with my my particular lifestyle, and you know, uh, it goes with just about everything in the wardrobe. Um, I mean, a derby, which they call a um, they call this an Oxford, whatever, is such an essential part of the um, of, of your wardrobe. I mean, it's certainly this one. Like, this is a Hawthorne Moleskiner, although it gets really, really dirty, and it gets this kind of gets wrinkly. Um, nobody cares. Um, they're hard to clean. These are these. Most skinners, uh, these light leather are hard to clean, true enough. Um, but you know, these they are quite beautiful leather, um, quite beautiful. Okay, so this is charcoal, rough and tough. Um, this is made at plant number two, Red Wing, Minnesota made in the USA it's uh, you know I don't get into a lot of whole details about the the shoe itself but it's it's built on the 60 last and there it gets some wrinkling up here as you can see you could probably use a cap toe um, I don't really care about that and nobody else really cares I don't think <laughs> um, but it does give you your, your own um, unique wrinkling on the thing. Some people hate the wrinkling on the um, on the toe. I think the extreme enthusiasts do, but I mean, there's a certain signature comfort that comes with it. The upper is made with charcoal, rough and tough, which is a beautiful. I love this black um, charcoal, rough and tough made at uh, source from SB tanning as far as the wardrobe goes I don't get a whole lot of black although I'm beginning to um, you know black is a powerful color black is a beautiful color um, most of the stuff that I have is different varying shades of brown, which is great because it opens up the wardrobe. And this is more of a, you know, black is reserved for your most formal stuff. It's a terminal end of the spectrum. And you got to kind of, I mean, when you wear black, you really got to nail the, the outfit, don't you? You know what I mean? And this has an aggressive, it already has an ab aggressive look uh, to it. And wearing this, when you walk into a room, you almost have to be careful <laughs> the amount of power that it has, that the color black has. Um, also, that there's a certain stigma that, in my generation, that Doc Martin had with the, the attitude of it, the rebellion of it, and it's almost attached to a certain um, um well strong views it's, it's you know even attached to hate groups and stuff like that which you know i'm glad that we were moving away from i'm glad that kids are wearing doc martens in these pink and white because it's, it's something that we're kind of trying to move away from you know it started out as a working class thing and it turned into like kind of hate group kind of thing and um, I'm sure that Doc Martin wants to move away from that and I, I keep back referring back to Doc Martin because the relation to a work shoe with this stitch <laughs> it, um, there is a relation there um, of the heritage and I kind of wanted to point that out. And, and, and I hope that you will um, explore the history of Red Wing and real shoes um handmade shoes these are stitched down construction and when you have stitched down or you have stitched welt construction essentially what it is is it's it's quality stuff meaning that you're going to use the best upper material you're not going to mess around <laughs> typically um, because these are going to last a lifetime 
they will handle a they can handle a uh, recraft one or two recrafts as long as you take care of the upper and if you wear out this rubber sole it's recraftable you can go to a cobbler and you can get these recrafted so this has been my review on the 3300 weekender series i hope you enjoy i will see you soon